Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 9 Crew Room, part number 39. We're going to be doing more than likely a cup race at Daytona and Chicagoland. So, yeah, I did a little bit of practicing, and it seemed like Daytona is going to be kind of like how the, you know, Daytona 500 was in Talladega, where we get the pole, pull away, and nobody really catches us, and nothing really happens. So, it'll be kind of a quick little, little race to go through, and, and all that. So, uh, yeah. So I was really mainly focusing just on Chicagoland, just trying to get a feel for that track because this is really the first time I've been there with the cup car. I mean, we only go here once a season, so just trying to anticipate that and try to get the car to handle as good as possible. So yeah, let's get into qualifying here at Daytona and we'll see where we start. I'm halfway down the back straight away and I'm kind of puzzled because when I was practicing the car, like going through the corners, you have to do like the tappy tap. And here, it's like a full lock, and it's just barely turning. I don't understand what the hell's going on. It's weird. It happens like this sometimes, which is just very bizarre, because this is not how the car normally handles. So I don't know what, what's up with that. It seems like when you boot up the game, the game, it seems like sometimes the handling is a little bit weird for these restrictor plate races. I don't know. That was just... I don't know how I got first even, because that was still not really a, a good lap, and it wasn't handling the way it did. That's so weird for me to say, to, or to even complain about the handling. Steer, yeah, everything's off, so I don't know why it was acting like it was so tight. I don't know, but that was just weird. So we're going to lower that back down to, like, probably 70 is probably okay. So we're going to put it down in there. That should be, that should be good, so... All right, well, let's uh, see what we can do in the race. I don't know why. That was just so weird. Like, I don't know. That just puzzled me. <laughs> so, 16 laps, and we got to a very good start. But, uh, I guess we'll see how this race kind of plays out if it's going to handle like this. So that's going to be a little bit different than what I was expecting. Other than that, it seems like the car still has speed and everything. So, yeah, we'll just have to... Let's see how this kind of goes, is it's already looking like it's just another domination station sort of thing. You know, very seldomly do I really go on tangents about handling at a restrictor plate track, but is anybody else, does anybody else experience that? Like, it, like I guess race like, you know, this with like no assist or anything and hop on the game. Because I swear there's times where you, it's like one of those feel things where like you go through the corner it's like you have to tap the the analog stick to kind of you know keep it to turn really consistently and here it's like a full lock and like a little bit of like you know turning kind of like what you do in the modern NASCAR games like NASCAR uh, like you know inside line 14 15 heat and heat 2 sort of thing here it's just it's still a full lock and I'm just rotating the, the, the analog stick just a little bit for turn so it's weird. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why it changes that way, but it's just, it's just weird. But hey, Casey Mears fifth, David Gill in fourth, okay. Um, despite that, I mean, everything's still going well. Just, just isn't handling the way I thought. So, I don't know. <laughs> just, I thought I'd just bring it up. Maybe some people at home could, uh, see see if they notice the subtle change but then again that's my driving style if somebody just always is really good at just with the lock and turn sort of thing then they may not notice the thing but I don't, I don't know but I don't know this should be like an unsolved mystery sort of like deep analysis because that's what I'm like really doing right now somebody should really make that video well we're about to head off turn four and I was never challenged for the lead once in this entire race that's kind of sad even Talladega kind of gave me a challenge, and Casey Mears trying to get second. Edwards will finish second, Mark fourth. All right, I don't know what, what that even was, but uh, the, the, the handling of the car was more exciting than anything. And same order, seventh, Reed Swords in eighth. Um, I, I don't know. How, how does a car be in neutral twice? I'm hitting, okay, car. Okay, folks, we're having the, the issue again. Okay, there we go. I don't know why. I, I went I, I went up twice, even three times, and nothing happened. And I went down, and then nothing else happened. So, hey, look at that. We're doing burnouts. <gasps> Ooh, almost got damage. Is this, is this exciting, folks? Is this exciting? Because I don't know how I would feel winning a race like that. Hey, and then there we go. Oh, that's cute. All right, let's, get, let's move on. So, with Casey Mears' uh, good run... Um, 
Casey Kane was like the next person he had to kind of like beat. And Casey Kane, it, did he go home? He, he, I think he went home. I, I can't find him. Oh my God, 38th. <laughs> Hey, good run from here. Oh my god, he can get it to 12th in the standings. Ooh, that'd be amazing if he gets in the chase in this, this universe. You're on a roll. Another team contract down. Let's go get you another one. Hey, we actually completed a contract, and it's still RCR. We're just in purgatory where we could just never get anything better because our rep is just not high enough. It just doesn't end. All right, we'll sign with RCR again. So, Chicagoland time. This one I'm worried about the most because it seemed like it was kind of like in the vein of how like Vegas ran where the car just kind of could go in the corner the wrong way in turn one and the car just really like does weird things. So, I did a lot of practicing off camera just to anticipate it. So, I will be showing you the, the custom setup for that and all that. So, let's get into that real quick before we actually get into the race. But, point standings time. Hey, we got the points lead by one point over Kyle Busch. Holy shit. Mark's 11th. And Jeff Burton still 12th with mere six points out. And I just smacked my foot. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see how this all kind of plays out. And it's weird to see Casey Mears have more top fives than Jeff Burton. For 2008. <laughs> my God, that's crazy. Um, yeah, we'll see if that happens. And Casey Kane's still kind of close there to 12th. And so is Hamlin. And then it's a big gap from there to Newman. So I think... You know, 13th, 14th, and 15th are pretty close in. No, 12th to 15th are pretty close in the chase battle. So here we go. We're going to go to the gameplay settings. We're going to mess with the uh, the setup a little bit. So steering help is going to be on high just so we can get through the corners and all that so it doesn't like really snap around too bad. We're going to load in the car setup. Again, it's nothing too crazy from the normal of, of like what we've been adjusting on the car. The only thing I, I did uh, add was just, you know, extended fourth gear just a little bit, so 0 0.96, wedge down to 47, and the uh, basic, uh, we just bumped up the downforce just one click to the right, so it's a bit more grip. We don't really need to worry about it being loose, because I feel like it was already pretty good as as is, and for qualifying, we're going to bump the grill tape up to 90, so let's see what happens, and, you know, we'll see where we start. Off turn four, our first lap was a 31.0, and that was 41st. So, I don't know why that was so much slower. I don't know why it was so bad. The car didn't feel that terrible, and we're nothing, nothing changed. <laughs> I don't understand this game sometimes when it's qualifying. Like, I didn't think that was a really bad lap at all, but I guess it was. So, thanks, game, for the self esteem destroyer. So, we're going to lower that grill tape back down to a 50. It was really on edge with the, the car, so what we're going to do in the next first couple of laps is we're just going to try to stay the outside line because the car doesn't like to do that weird, like, wanting to, to snap on you, so that's the approach. We'll see if this delivers. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. So here we go. Kyle Busch in 42nd. What? <laughs> I don't know why that's, that, that's a thing. But 27 laps long as we don't wreck or anything this is a pretty lengthy race so we got time to move up to the field if, if we can i really hope so so okay we'll just let's keep it down low make contact with kyle petty right away sure why not and the car is not turning that's also a very big concern we just we just started the race and the car is tight i'm sure that's just me just not going great good enough in the corner so I only gained one spot that lap, but it's okay. Just make little gains. And we'll try to get to the outside or just split the middle. Pfft. Well, that's a better uh, position to get a black flag right there, right off the bat. So I'm just going to try to stay to the outside. It does seem like it kind of works. Okay, well, except for Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is in his own little pocket dimension. We're not going to worry about him. But it seems like the outside line can work. It, at least the car is stable enough, at least in the early part of the run. I'm sure once the, the car gets a lot tighter. Why is, it, why is the game skipping? Oh, well, I did. I have, I've, had, I've had this game on for a very long time. So maybe that's why. So I won't be mad at you, game. I, I guess I understand. So we're going to try this, you know, the outside again. As you can see the car is really snapping, just being up here even, so... It's a good thing I went with this decision. Whew. Okay, well, just a little, little scrape off the outside wall. No, no, 
no bent in damage. So, boy, they're just really stacked up right now. And at least we're still gaining spots. And it does seem like. Hmm. Oh man. I I really could have. Car. Jesus. All right, we got all of that out of our system. That was just like, like one inch away from disaster. And my phone just do do looped. Okay, this is what I wanted to do last lap. And the car is tight on the outside. Like it's it's, it's Jesus. It's just like it's like a like a mini. It's like an alternate Vegas. How the car is tight in the trial like that. I don't understand it. Comment section. I'm sure you have the answer to that because you have the answer to all of my my life problems. So have at it down below. Then again, nobody cares about this series anyway, so, I mean, I don't, I don't even know if there's anybody left. It's just, it's dry, just like my, my sex life. <laughs> oh my god, and Kyle Petty's, Kyle Petty, <laughs> I just compare Kyle Bush to Kyle Petty. Kyle, give me fucking room. I'm gonna get a black flag for this shit, like, it's gonna fucking happen. Kyle, I'm so sorry that you're getting held up by a, a, a scrub that doesn't even exist. Holy shit, we gained a lot. Wow, wow. I, what the fuck was that car? Did you see? It's like it turned right on me. It's like fighting with me. Just fucking accept that you're... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I was going to try to make the pass and the car just turned right. Like, no, you, I ain't having it. What is wrong with this car? What is wrong with the game sometimes? And, ooh, baby, that just... It didn't like that at all in that corner. Okay. We got a lot of that shit show out of our system, and they yellow flags, so that's good. What the fuck is that? Comment section, I need some big time fucking help. Newman just stopped! What the fuck was that? And then the, the death. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people pitting, too! Oh my god, we were like, we don't even deserve to be up here. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he did he pit? I think he pitted. Wow, we were gonna cheese a position we don't even deserve to be in right now. Oh my god, NASCAR 08 just peeked in for a split second and chimed in. And we're gonna actually get off to a really good start. So that's even better. We do not even deserve 13th. We're even 12th. From what I remember in practice, the best I managed was at least, like, top 25. So, this is already better. And I know we're faster than, like, Elliot Sadler and, like, John Wood and stuff. So, we can even gain on them. Kyle Busch, you're in your own little, like, zone. So, I'm not going to really, you know, factor you in there. So, yeah, and he's getting held up. So, that's even better. And we're just going to go to the outside like we did, you know, done before. So, this is, it, this is all looking good. I just want to stay to the outside. Holy shit, this car doesn't like it. Just, it, just, it doesn't really like to to go through that corner at all. I don't know what the fuck. What am I supposed to do here? I want to go down low and maybe make it three wide, but I don't know if the car is going to try to turn right against my will or, or what. And I'm going to get passed by a fantasy car. I almost got wrecked by a fucking fantasy car. What is wrong with this race? I, everything's just just nothing Nothing makes sense. I, I really need a dose of comment section help right now because I am fucking lost. I guess I didn't mention it, but we got by the... Somebody. John Wood. <laughs> so, we're trying to get by around pa 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 Patrick Carpet Eater, whoever. And once we get by him, then we got uh, Elliot Sadler, which I feel like we have a chance of getting by him. Even though I'm kind of surprised that they're actually putting up as good of a fight as they are, considering it seemed like I was really, really quick compared to them. I don't know, is, is, are we having speed comp where, like, they they just are running better because they don't think I deserve to be here? I don't know. But even if we finish 12th, I mean, that's going to be a huge, just lucky, lucky break. I mean, Newman just murdered the whole field to for me to be even blessed in this position. So even if I finish 12th, this is a huge gain. I don't know if I can. we still got 11 laps to go. I know the couple of caution laps probably helped the, uh, the tire fall off and everything, but I don't know. Car handle's okay, it just, turn one and two is just really snappy, and I gotta be very careful with that, so. Turn three is just tight, but it's just, it's manageable tight, so. 
yeah, I mean, it's just weird, but... I really hope Mark Martin wins. That'll be kind of cool. But Tony Stewart kind of ruined that, so thanks, Tony. Uh-oh, here we go, folks. I'm actually having a run on someone. First time in many laps, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to, like, really just go off the track here. So I'm really trying to underdrive the shit out of this corner. And it worked, but we didn't really gain on anything. And also, somebody's catching me from behind that has no front anything. How? How is that faster than me? What does that tell me? That the car is still that bad? I, I'm like, I don't even understand. Like, that's like, that's like NASCAR Heat 2 levels of just, like, nonsense. Like, come on, guys. That, oh, I don't know. And I don't know why it's this hard to pass Elliot Sadler. I don't know what's going on. That's fucking Carl Edwards. How? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Why how is my car that fucking bad? That a car that just is absolutely destroyed, like, damage is on. Like, it is, like, on... You know, it's not cosmetic, so that should really affect the speed, but I guess it's just, it just not doing a goddamn. Here comes Dale Jr. behind me, as well as Jeff Burton. I think I saw Casey Mears, so I'm probably going to get past here sooner or later. I, yeah, I, I guess I, I just have really nothing for them, so... It was a matter of time. I'm kind of not really shocked. Well, I, I was pretty shocked about Carl Edwards, so that kind of blew my mind, but... They got in the I mean, there were so many cars that got in that wreck. There was one car that went through the fucking fence. Like, he should be dead. Like, <laughs> like he should not even be alive. And he's still probably in this race. And he's probably going to run better, better than me. And he doesn't even have a body. So, I don't know how that's possible. But, it's, it, I'm sure it's going to happen. But Mark Martin is leading. So, if it takes the whole field to just explode for Mark Martin to win, I'll... I'll take it. And this is, it's kind of fitting because this is, you know, he, he won here in 2009 and it was a night race, so it's close enough. And it's 2008, so it's one year off, but it's close enough, right? White flag is out for ourselves one more time around for this very just bizarre race. Tony took over the lead, so that's kind of sad. And still hanging on to 13th. I don't know how this car sucks at this point. We probably had at least a 25th car, you know, 25th place car. And Tony just won. I don't know what happened, but Mark didn't even finish second. So we'll go through turns three and four for the final time. Really just underdrive the crap out of it. Kind of go up high, but it was kind of like a low-key block. But I really didn't mean it to be like that. But we'll bring it home 13th. I, we didn't deserve that at all, but I'll take it. So I don't even know. <laughs> that's that's just fucking nonsense. And Casey Kane got eighth, so he's going to gain back in the, the chase standings thing. And... Casey Mears' dreams of being in the chase is now just just diminished. Lead changes were a lot. So we got Stuart that led nine laps, Mark led nine, or Kenseth led nine laps, Johnson led four, Mark got five, Kurt led one, and there might have been some way back here that got in the wreck possibly. Maybe not. Okay, Newman led a lap, so, okay. Yeah, Newman actually DNF'd. Well, that's good. At least, you know, him stopping in front of the whole field, it results in a DNF, so I, that that's good. Uh, that was, I don't even know. Let's, let's just let's just move on. So our sponsorship obligations look good still. So we led more than 15 laps. Average finish is well above 20th, and our standings is second. So we're going to get performance points. I'm probably going to put more of that towards the, probably the horsepower for the Speedway stuff, because it did seem like, at the, I, guess, I guess we're lacking in that still. I, I didn't really... I don't know. There's just some races where it just doesn't seem like no matter what you put in the car, it's just, it's just not going to be, like, fast. I don't know. So, Kyle's 30 points ahead of me now. Uh, the point standing shook out probably quite a bit, considering a lot of people finished in the back. Uh, Jeff Burns still in 12th. Kane's one point out. Mears is now 12, 12 points out. So, still possible. And then we have Hamlin, so it's basically from 12th to to 14th that are pretty much trying to fight to be in that last spot so that'll be interesting so yeah that, I don't even know what to say that was like like the last part where we had like one really like nothing race and then one that was really freaking intense so it was like the same thing again except it exceeded expectations Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave, 500 Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Zach Rogers, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Stephen Willey, and Sam Race 2001 for a donation again. I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys for your support to the channel. 
and everything like that does mean a lot to me and I can't thank you guys enough along the way with everything. I'll see you all next part which probably won't be out for quite a while. I'm looking at my calendar here and the next part won't be out till September yeah, September 22nd. That's when uh that's right around where uh, I stopped doing all the He2 stuff and then uh, I'll be posting these uh, NASCAR 09 stuff on Saturday and Sunday. So this will be kind of like taking uh, this this ser series will be like taking its place for like NASCAR Heat 2 championship mode sort of stuff. So that's that's the plan and that's what's going to be for a little bit. So um yeah, it's that's that's what's going to happen. So sooner or later this series will end. It's just going to probably take until almost 2019 <laughs> the start of 2019 i bet oh my god all right i'm gonna get going here so i'll see you all later and as always have a good day everyone